Hello, it's Jason Pave, Cool Banker Dan Hop Realtors. Well, I'm back out of Vintage Oaks, and I'm out here because I'm doing a new construction follow-up video for one of my out-of-state clients who's getting a Perry 4053 plan built on the one-acre lot section. Sorry, we got construction going on, so bear with me. Let's go check it out. All right, the Bobcat's taking a quick break, so let me do a quick walk-around tour of what this is looking right now. See the workers out there working. This is the cul-de-sac leading up back behind my truck. So you're really not gonna have a lot of traffic on the street right in front of you. So that's really nice. And my guys have already bought this, got to go and do so. They've seen my initial video of this lot. But I definitely want to showcase what this is looking like as of today. Lots of space on the side of the house and going further back. All right, let's head on inside and start the tour of this beautiful house. All right, I am pretending like I just walked into the door because they haven't got the steps built yet and they're still doing work outside. So as you come in, we do have the dining room set up right here with some super tall ceilings. And I definitely want to showcase what the view is from the front patio because it's amazing. But they've got this door blocked with a brick and the reason is they've got the painter in here and he's still doing some stuff and he doesn't want dust coming all through the place but check out this uh little medieval looking roof design like a gothic church thing very cool but then you've got this room here which looks like a really large office right up front with once again tall ceilings the buyers put extra can lighting in you can see through a little bit. We got workers painting some of the trim work right now out front, so I also don't want to disturb them. But at least you can see kind of what the trim work is looking like. All right, let's continue the tour. Man, this is a big room. Now, like I said before, I don't know if you can hear me, this is Perry's 4053 plan. It's kind of a, if you've watched, been watching my videos, the model home at the Grove, but on steroids. This is a much bigger house because that one's about 3,500. But uh, it does have little rooms here. This plan here has the extra step in here with a little space. We've got the laundry rooms. Sorry, no power yet. So hopefully my GoPro is picking up this. We got the two additional bedrooms. Once again, good sized rooms. Tall ceilings, I'm assuming they're gonna be bringing in their own fan light combo. Great way to save some money. Because the builder will have their upcharge on anything that the builder puts in. But they do have the tall eight foot doors. Loving the archways, little mini office set up there. With a joint use bathroom for these two bedrooms. So they'll have a tower shut tub combo. And the other bedroom, real similar to the one we were just in. Now the windows do have a little plastic sheen on them. That's why it's hard to see, but man, this room's gonna have some nice, well, both these rooms are gonna have nice views out the side. Oh, check out the size of this closet. Who's ever got this bedroom? It's gonna have a nice space there. They said the painter is still working in here. There he goes, just walked by. But check out this great room space. Wow. Like I said, glad he is there because you can see a frame of reference just how tall, how much windows are in this room. Got your fireplace and they haven't put all their rock up there yet. Another bonus space over there and a game room space. And let's go do some exploring. This is gonna be the kitchen. Like I said, instead of a traditional big giant island, they're gonna have a little wraparound island. With little spaces where you can bring up your bar stools or something around the side. Oven microwave combo being built in. They said he just was painting this stuff yesterday. I came out here yesterday trying to shoot a video, but 
just too much going on, so I decided to do it today. So we do have the cooktop space showcasing that they've carried the cabinetry all the way up to the top with lots of can lighting in here. Spot for the refrigerator, making sure I'm not touching anything. Good size pantry. The little butler's pantry section here and the mud room. That's the dining room we saw and you can see somebody out there working on the painting. So I show you what this four car garage looks like. So we got workers out here too. But uh, yeah, four car garage. This thing is massive. And because they had to dig it in, you're gonna have tall, tall ceilings in this garage as well. And a little behind the scenes, this is the steps coming up in here right now. A little pallets. Hey, it works. All right. Oh, there comes the painter guy. Your spot for your dishwasher right there. And it's hard to see the uh, court. Oh, here's the sink. So the view from the sink, I don't want to get yelled at for not showing off the sink. And this is going to be your view from the sink. So they went with a porcelain single basin sink, a little farmhouse, but uh, a really white looking uh, quartz there. <laughs> All right, let's go check out these other rooms. I really like the fact that you've got this big giant space here. We got the dining room up front, so you can make this room whatever you want to do with it. And you still have the perfect setup for a movie theater room, game room, whatever you want to do. Because you got plenty of space if you want to do a, uh, let me just come over here. You can do French doors going there. Lots of light in this room. But yeah, let me get back in the corner so I can showcase this room a little bit. Yeah, if you want to do French, uh, a barn door, French doors, whatever you want to do in this room. If you want to put a, projector up you can make sure you got some blackout curtains there for the lights the uh, windows so you can keep this main space for entertaining and socializing with a regular tv over the fireplace but it looks like i can go out back so let's do that now all right you're gonna have a massive back porch set sitting area, super tall ceilings. The property goes back through the woods there quite a bit. Uh, I know the construction manager's got some plans to do something with this little shelf they've got going on here. But uh, yeah, this, as I'm filming it, it is 7 March 2022. So this house is coming along really fast. Uh, every day I've been out here trying to do a video, there's been workers. Got your TV plug, your additional plug, and your gas line. So if you wanted to do an outdoor grill setup, you can. Let me walk over here real quick, just kind of showcase. Beautiful bump out windows from the backside. And you're gonna have some just nice views of <coughs> the Vintage Oaks hillside. All right, let's head back on inside. The last time I was out here, this place was just, well, the last video I shot, I've been out here a few times, the last video I shot, this was just in framing and we we're just kind of guessing what things were. But as you come in, you do have your long-term stay guest bedroom uh, because it's going to have a full bath attached to it. And it's more separated from the rest of the house. Once again, they went with the builder's grade light. Love that idea because now you can shop for your own fan and lights that you want. But this is the full bath uh, room setup. Spot for the toilet. Uh, shower, shower 
taking the tile all the way up to the ceiling and a neat little mini walk-in closet. So yeah, if you've got that long-term guest situation or if your spouse snores a lot and you need a backup master bedroom, this is a good spot for it. Or this is a great plan. All right. Man, just can't get over just how tall these ceilings are. Let's go check out the owner suite. All right, we've got another, the powder room, what I always call like the open to the public powder room where everybody can use right there. And then behind this eight foot door is the master bedroom. That's the knockout we saw from the back porch. Once again, uh, tall ceilings, look like 12 foot or, might be taller than 12 foot. Those might be uh, 13 or 14 feet. Those are tall ceilings. But a uh, big opening to the master bathroom suite. They got the cabinets in. They just, this is what they were painting yesterday. Love the color. So you're gonna have dual vanity. Lights are in. There's those lights you picked out. I was at the design center with these guys because they're out of state. And that's one of those things I've gotten really quite good at, toot my own horn, of helping people with the design center stuff. I got my iPad and my phone. So it's a scary process, <clears throat> but having a realtor like myself that can do the design center tour for you and really help bring the people that are out of state involved in the process. This is the flooring y'all picked out and the tile in the master bath. Sorry, I don't have any light to really show you. So you are gonna have the rain shower head up above and there's where the other shower head's gonna go. Lots of space in the shower. Pretty good step down though. We do have a his and her closet set up and it looks like they went nuts with the custom built-ins. It's kind of nice. And it kind of goes around there. A little linen closet. This is what your tub looks like as of 7 March. They're working on it. Another linen closet right there, no need to show that. And there's the other closet with, like I said, built-ins all through it. I know, it's tough to see. Okay, so I mean this is the water closet. Yeah, there's the plumbing for it. Cool. All right, but yeah, love the color. That little grayish there looks real nice. Looks like there's your soon-to-be tub. from the entry, your kitchen, bonus room space, fireplace. It's a really neat house. Well, that's gonna wrap up the new construction follow-up tour for this Perry home, plan 4053. So it's 4,053 square feet. This is a big single story home and it's gonna be absolutely gorgeous built out in Vintage Oaks in New Braunfels, Texas. If you're considering relocating to the area and looking for a real estate agent, I'd be happy to help because I like doing videos like this too. And it costs you nothing to use a realtor. Anyways, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and as always, keep sharing these videos with your friends and family. All right, take care now, bye.